Hey guys, it's Sarah with americantrucks.com and today we have a review and install of the Morimoto XB LED headlights with black housings and clear lenses fitting your 09-18 to 18 Ram 1500. These are perfect for the Ram owner who wants to replace their headlights with an upgrade over the factory reflectors and wants a projector style option with modern black design, LED accents and optional sequential turn signals. These projector style headlights feature dual projector LED high and low beams, as well as bright white LED daytime running lights and amber sequential turn signals. Now the great part about these headlights is all the customization options that they offer. They do include a wiring harness that allows you to keep your daytime running lights on as long as your truck's ignition is on. Now, if you don't want to install this, you can still have these headlights. Your daytime running light function will work off your factory switch. In addition, they also offer the optional sequential turn signals. There's one connector on the back of the headlight that I'll show you in a second, that if you leave connected, you get factory functionality, but if you disconnect, that's where you get the sequential turn signals. Now, as far as the headlights themselves, they're constructed from UV-treated clear polycarbonate lenses with black ABS plastic housings, and they're DOT and SAE compliant, meaning they're legal for on-road use. So as far as price goes, these headlights come in at around $1,500 for the pair, which is a bit on the higher end price wise when compared to other options. But for your money, you are getting a projector style headlight option that features modern black styling, LED accents, and a ton of customization options. And as far as the install goes, I'm giving this one a two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. It does feature a direct bolt up and plug and play install that can be done within one hour. So with that said, let's check out that install. For this install, we used an impact gun, but a ratchet will work just fine. You will also need a 10 millimeter socket. All right, so the first step in our uninstall with your hood popped is to remove the four bolts that are holding on our grill. Now you may notice that the rad support cover is missing off of our truck. So when you pop your hood, you may have that in your way. A few pop clips and that should be out of your way. Once that's gone, grab a 10 millimeter socket and let's remove the four bolts holding on our grill. Now with your bolts out, you can grab your grill and just pull evenly back towards you to release it. Now there'll be two bolts holding on your headlight on the front. Go ahead and get those removed with a 10 millimeter socket. Now this bottom one is a little bit farther in on the truck, so you may need a ratchet for this. Still a 10 millimeter socket, go ahead and get it removed. Now at this point to release your headlight, there is a small plastic tab at the back of the headlight, which you can push up to release and you can access through your wheel well. Now you'll see the trap door I was talking about right here. What you're gonna do is pull back on the tab at the bottom. Now if you can't release this by hand, you can also use a pop clip removal tool. It's gonna push it out of the way. Now reach into your fender well and you'll find a plastic tab. It's maybe a little bit hard to see, but we'll show you that in a second and press up on the tab to release your headlight. All right, now that the tab is released at the back of your headlight, what we're gonna do is grab it and pull it back straight towards you to release it. With your headlight released, you can now unplug both connectors, pull back on the red tab, press down and remove them. Now with the headlight out, you can get a better shot of that plastic tab I was talking about. This is what it will look like when it's locking your headlight in place. And we're gonna reach in through the wheel well and press up to release it. And now your headlight can come out safely without breaking the tab. All right, so at this point, we're gonna install this optional wiring harness. Now this will allow you to have daytime running lights whenever your ignition is on, as opposed to the factory daytime running light option. So this is a personal preference, but we are gonna show you how to install it if you prefer your daytime running lights to be on all the time. We're gonna route this wiring harness over to the other side where it plugs in. 
and then route this side back underneath so we can plug it into this headlight. All right, so we have our wiring harness routed. Again, make sure it's away from anything that's hot and moving or sharp. And now we're gonna get this other end installed into our fuse and relay box. So the first thing we have to do is locate F66, which is where Morimoto suggests to install it. And that is gonna be this one right here. Now, if you're not sure where to go, there is a diagram up top here to help you find it. Go ahead and remove that fuse and install this one directly in its place. Make sure it's fully connected. And then we're gonna route this wiring right out the side here. Now you can go ahead and close the box. All right, now we can install the headlight. I did wanna point out, as you guys can probably see, there's quite a bit going on back here with this wiring harness. Now, if your truck is like ours and you have a halogen headlight, you're gonna leave this as is. This harness is just here to accommodate more models. I did want to point out one thing about this wiring harness. You may see this connector here with the green wire already connected to itself. If you leave this as is, this will give you turn signals that function just like your factory and all they do is flash like OEM. However, if you would like sequential turn signals, go ahead and unplug this and we're gonna leave it unplugged so you can see the full functionality of this headlight. Now what we're gonna do is plug in the wiring harness that we just installed. This plugs in to the single pin connector with a blue wire to it. That'll go again to the wiring harness we just installed. Now coming off this large connector here, this is the main harness. So go ahead and plug that in to the connector for your high and low beam. Make sure you press down on the red tab. And then this one off to the side has a black, yellow, and white wire. This one will be your turn signal. Go ahead and plug that in. And again, press down on the red tab. Now I recommend routing this wiring as neatly as possible. You may wanna throw some zip ties on there. And again, keep it away from anything hot, moving, or sharp. Now we're gonna line the headlight up on the truck. Make sure the white tab is in the up position and line up the metal tab and press it in place. Now we can install both of the factory bolts. Go ahead and thread it into your factory mounting points and with your 10 millimeter socket, tighten it down. Repeat that for your topmost mounting point. And tighten it down. With both of the bolts in the front of your headlight, we're moving on to the wheel well. Make sure you press down on that white plastic tab to secure the back of the headlight. And we're also gonna press this pop clip back in its location to hold on the inspection window in your wheel well liner. All right, now that we have our headlight uninstalled from our truck, we can check it out side by side with our new headlight here. Now, as you can see, design-wise, they are very different from one another. Our new headlight features black styling, as well as LEDs and a dual projector design, which is a nice departure from the chrome of the factory. In addition, there's also an important functional difference. Our new headlight features a projector style lens, which gets you a brighter and more focused beam of light in comparison to the reflector of the factory, which spreads the light outwards. So with that said, you're gonna finish up your install by repeating all of those steps to install your passenger side. All right, at this point, we're gonna line up the grill on the truck. We're lining up the plastic tabs at the bottom as well as the top and then pressing it into place. And at this point, you can reinstall your factory bolts through the top of your grill. Grab your 10 millimeter socket and tighten it down. Repeat that for the rest of your mounting points.
All right, so that is gonna do it for the review and install of these headlights. And remember for all things Ram, keep it at americantrucks.com.